do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Yeah, my name's Elliot James Langridge. And you play? I play Darby. I had to think that. <laughs> Just tell us a little bit about your character. So he's a bit of a, he thinks he's funny, he's kind of a, he's a bit of a loud mouth. Um, and he's basically he's stuck in this underground bunker with these two women and kind of thinks he's a bit of a lad. And he's kind of, I guess, the comic relief in a way. He's, he's kind of, um, he thinks he's funny, maybe he's not so funny. And the film I itself, without giving any spoilers, mm. what is it about? Okay, so the three characters that you see in the film, um, they're put into a kind of lottery to be um, chosen to be put into this underground bunker to help teach the children of the future. Um, and without giving anything away really, it kind of turns into a Lord of the Flies situation with these children. Um, they're all wearing these augmented reality glasses um, and there's something not quite right about that situation. Hi, I'm Isabel Allen and I play Cassandra in the film Let's Be Evil. Without giving too much away, can you tell us a little bit about the film? Um, it's very exciting, it's a sci-fi thriller and it, it's very fun, it's, it's a good film to watch. My character Cassandra is, she's in the mix with all these children that have grown up in, well with these Google glasses and um, she, Cassandra is quite a shy girl, she doesn't really fit in with many people so when these chaperones, these adults come to um, join them and look after them, um, she meets some really nice people and yeah, she gets looked after there. And then my character, I can't say too much about my character because a lot happens. Yes, uh, my name is Martin Owen. I am the writer and director of Let's Be Evil. So tell us a little bit about Let's Be Evil. Okay, um, so it's a, it's a sci-fi thriller that sits in the in the horror bracket. So it's, it's not blood and guts, um, but what it is, it's a, it's a it's a point of view movie, so 95% of the movie, the audience feel like they're wearing these glasses that the characters are wearing. So in doing that, uh, it allowed us to create something that kind of messes with the audience because they feel that they're going on this journey with the central characters. I understand that you've been working with some slightly younger actors in this mm -hmm. particular film. How do you go about preparing yourself to work with the younger side of the actors? Um, you can't. I think, <laughs> uh, honestly, I think once earlier in my career, I, I worked with a similar amount of children, like sort of 20 kids, and... It was, an, it was a nightmare, and I lost my train of thought all the time, what we're doing, it was just... But on this one, the kids were great. I mean, really, really great. Uh, they're all from the same school, um, the same drama school, and they were, they were fantastic. They were really, really... I didn't know they were there half the time. You know, they were, they were literally, like, silent, mute children from another planet. Like, they were, they were, they were great. Well, I, think, I think the biggest problem with the movie was because... Obviously, there's other POV movies, um, like Hardcore Henry, uh, which was out recently, but with this movie, we actually we're constantly cutting between the three POVs. So it's not just one. So the challenge of that, while shooting all the time, was: is this actually going to work? Is is this this stuff that looks great as we've done it on the day? We might not be able to use it because it might not cut. So that was the biggest challenge: doing something new. But also, you know, it was it was rewarding that it did work. Is this your first fight first? Yes, it is. Are yes. you excited to have your film here? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Of course, we are. Um, yeah, it's um, it's obviously a festival that's. I've heard about before many times and not a lot of people that attend the festival um, so I was, I was just kind of saying from there as well it's kind of like where, unless you sort of socially go to something as a filmmaker it's kind of you get this weird stigma it's like, I want to go to that festival but I kind of don't want to go unless I've got a film there because I'll probably sit and cry you know I mean, so so it's, it's great for us to have to have the film here you know and, and this is only it's one of the first times that it's gone in front of a public audience previously it's been people who are involved in the film and friends and family and they're always going to be nice about it you know are you um, are you hanging around for anybody else's films this year um, I think I think I'm going to check out um, Ego Maniac, uh, which is on I think After Hours, um, which which is um, as a friend of mine Dan Palmer, who is one of the actors in that, who did who was uh, wrote Star and Stalled a few years ago. Uh, so I want to check that out. I think that I think that'll be good. Sounds good to me. Well, thank you very much for thank having you. a chat with me, and I'll nice see you, you see you soon.